You enter your room and lay on the bed. You get your blanket and cover your head as you cry secretly. I hate you. I hate you. I wish I never met you. You murmured until you remember your suitcase. You get up and kick it at the same time, wiping your tears. Then the door opened. Why are you kicking your suitcase? Is that what you're going to bring in our trip? You don't know how you should feel when you saw Jungkook. You are hurt because he is getting married. But the realization hits you. You have no rights to be angry since you two were just friends. What are you doing here, Mr. Jun? What do you mean? Remember, we are leaving for Barcelona, so let's go. Even though you were hurting, you still felt happy because Junko had his world. He still kept his promise to you. Now you understand why he set this vacation. Because after this, he will get married and you will be separated forever. Let's go before we miss our flight. He added and took your luggage. You took a deep breath and smiled. You decided to temporarily forget everything. For now, all you want is to enjoy yourself with the man who first made your heart beat. Then let's go. For you, you just consider this as your farewell vacation to Jungkook. Maybe this is also Jungkook's way to say goodbye to you, since in the short time of period, you two literally became really close to each other. Oh wait Mr. Jun, about my parents. He smiled and says, don't worry, they already know that we're going on vacation. And that's the time in sync up in your brain that Jungkook is not an ordinary person. He is actually the mafia boss because he made your parents agree to go with him. The moment you reached to the living room, you saw your parents as if they are waiting for you. Enjoy your vacation. Mr. June, please take care of my daughter. Your mom said that surprised you because you really feel her sincerity. They walk closer and hug you. Happy birthday, dear. We are sorry. We know we hurt you. When you come back, we promise that we'll spend more time with you. Your dad said. This time, you couldn't stop your tears. Tears of joy. Was the time you wished for finally came true. What you expected is a normal outward and you were bored in the passenger airplane. That's why you were surprised when you saw a private plane. I was thought your words cut as Jungkook spoke. Let me introduce my real name. I'm Jun Jungkook, the mafia boss. Actually, I'm still confused. There are many things I want to know. Then, let's talk inside the plane. I'll explain everything to you. He held your hand and helped you until you got inside the plane. Is this yours? Hmm, I own this. Then, what was the ticket you showed yesterday? I mean that so you wouldn't surprise. So, what's troubling in your mind? Did you invite me on a vacation because after this, you will get married? Hmm, you're right. You smile and say, 
congrats but the truth is deep inside your heart is breaking apart and I know who is she she's a spoiled brat daughter of an influential person my grandfather and her agree to marry their first grandchildren it looks like you don't like her then why did you agree to marry her and you have a choice since you are the powerful boss i don't know the first time i heard her name makes my blood boil however something is pushing me to know that girl so i made a way to be with her at first i couldn't call her name i got pissed off every time i saw her because she was naughty so i gave her a hard time and became strict to her technically i don't like girls from a richer family because usually they had a bad attitude and can't appreciate simple things you giggle and say yeah i can't deny that i came from a rich family but i'm not rude or have a bad attitude i know that's why we became friends yes friends so you really only think of me as a friend let me finish while i was with her i learned a lot from her and little by little i got to know the real her and that's when i realized that i was wrong in knowing her she was just showing that she was happy but deep inside she was hiding a problem she was in pain i thought at first i only felt pity but later on i want to take care of her that's why i decided to marry her did you love her yes in the short time you spent together i literally fell in love with her i'm happy that you found that girl who will make you happy mr june you said without you noticing the there were tears form into your eyes wait are you crying he asked you immediately wiped your tears and said no why n by any chance did you develop feelings for me a simple question but it's hard to answer for you it's useless to let jungkook know your true feelings for him because you know he already loved someone else that's not important mr jun but for me that's important why though you're getting married soon of course for me i want to know if the girl i'm going to marry loves me then why don't you ask her that's why i'm asking you because you are the girl i'm talking about you gaze at him but later on you laugh like an idiot mr june being a comedian is not suitable for you he sighed and can't believe you as he dialed someone's number and gave his phone for you you were surprised when you found out the person who was called by junko the chairman name or i say your grandfather grandpa he said so did he already tell you about what about your marriage you end the call right away things are slowly becoming clear to you but you still want to ask junko and hear the truth from him i give you one minute to explain before my brain explodes what should be going on here all right listen my grandpa wants me to marry you but i'm against it so he told me to know you first and if i haven't changed my mind he won't force me so i asked your parents to assign me as your bodyguard at first i really don't like you however 
when I saw the review, I started opening my heart and eventually, I fell in love with you. Instead of being happy, you got angry because you reached to the point where you were hurt because you thought he's going to marry to someone else. You stood and took your bag. Wait, where are you going? The plane is about to take off. He said and held your wrist trying to stop you. When you suddenly snatched the gun that was tackled in the side of one of his people, you took it and pointed at him. Don't try to stop me, Mafia. Do you know my heart is broken? Then I just found out that I was just jealous of myself? Jealous? Yes, jealous. I'm jealous thinking I'm going to lose you. Because I love you too. As he giggled. But you get even more angry after seeing him blushing. I don't want to go with you. No, you can't do that. We agreed to tour Europe. Then I changed my mind. Because I hate you. Then what can I do to make you forgive me? You drop the gun and stare at him. Are you sure you will do what I want just to forgive you? Of course, as long as our marriage goes ahead. And who told you that I will not marry you? We are only talking about the vacation. Never mind. I completely changed my mind. If you want to go on vacation, fine, but I will be the one who chooses where and what to do. Then that's fine for me, as long as we're together. Jungkook's whole truth was that they just have a simple vacation in Dubai. He had no idea what's waiting for him. Yeah, YN, is this your revenge for me? YN, I don't want to die. We're going to marry next month. Don't worry, Mafia. I won't let that happen. I will take care of you. Poor Mafia. He needs to do the extreme sports that you want just to forgive him. He has no idea that the woman he loves is not only crazy, he also likes extreme sports. You are really weird, but I need to do this because I love you. As he heard your voice telling him faster.